Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm tackling the second storage room in the house, which actually opens from the kitchen. It looks really bad, even worse than the first storage room I did a makeover on. The floor, the walls are so bad, dirty and, and just bad. I started hoovering the whole space. I didn't feel much because you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. And then I removed the screws and cleaned the space. Actually, I had to do it like three times because the first time I just smashed away the dirt, as you can see. Before painting, I'm filling in the holes. After drying, I'll just sand them down. On the floor there are these metal panels which need to go, so I am removing those first. As you can see the bottom part of the walls are not smooth at all and I'm going to cover it with skirting board so it's gonna be fine but I'm sanding it down a little bit to make it more even but actually it's not really making a big difference. So I'm going for a black and white color scheme in the space so I'm just using a plain white color for the walls and the shelving unit will be black. I'm starting to paint in the corners first and the pipes, while the space is just filled with pipes because there was another boiler here before, I don't know, and I can't really put any food in here because when we turn the heat on these pipes get warm too, so that's why I'm doing a cleaning closet. Even though it has a good size, I'm not going to be able to push the shelving unit all the way to the back because of the pipes, but it's fine, you gotta work with what you have. And it's looking like this after one coat of paint. It looks so bad, it definitely needs a few more coats. I also cleaned and painted the door, unfortunately my camera died, I don't have a footage of it, but I just used the same white paint and I'm only painting the inside part and the trims because I might go for a different color in the kitchen and I don't want to paint the door twice. Looking like this after a second coat of paint still needs like two more. So there was a socket in the wall before and also there's a big hole at the bottom which I'm going to cover with some plywood. I cut these pieces out and I will glue them to the walls. I should have done this before I started painting but it's fine. I painted these prior but I was rushing and I didn't wait for them to dry so I will paint over them.
Okay guys, so it's looking like this after four coats of paint and many hours. The walls are still drying now, so I will wait for those to dry completely. I'm using again these soft adhesive floor planks, but, but this time a different color and I just love it so much. So it's grayish with white tones. It's gonna look so good with the white walls and the black shelving unit. Again, I'm starting with the hard part by the pipe. I have to cut out the piece, so I'm tackling that and then I will just lay down the other planks. I really like how the floor is looking at the moment, but of course it still looks really bad by the walls, but I'm going to install a skirting board, so it's gonna be fine. I'm cutting the pieces first using a meter box, and then I will glue them to the walls. It's already looking so much better, but since the walls are not even and smooth, there are gaps that I'm going to fill in with caulk and make the edges nice and even. After the caulk dried, I painted over it. Oh, it looks so good. Can we just remember and take a look how this looked before? Let's just have a look. It's insane how bad it was and now it looks like this. So I bought the Ivar or Ivar shelving unit from IKEA, sorry I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm just going to paint it black. The funny thing is that they are selling it in black too, but I noticed it after I purchased the pine color. Uh, yep, so I could have saved some time, uh, but honestly, I probably would have bought the pine color anyway, because the black one costs 18 pounds more, just because it's painted already. So it's fine, I'll do it. And I only had to apply one coat and it was enough. That's why this raw wood is so good because the paint covers it so well. And I know I'm using a paint that's for the walls originally, but it works. So I'm assembling it, but I realized I won't be able to put it in the space because the space is just so small. First I have to add the cross brace, or at least drill the screws in. When I will put it in the space, I just have to use a screwdriver to secure them. Well, it was not easy to put it in the space, but I did it and it's looking really good.
So I need to move all of these items to the space. Guys, don't judge. I hate the fact that we have so much cleaning products. I'm kind of a minimalist. So this happened because of COVID. My brother went a little bit overboard. Uh, so we will use them all and not get anything until they are gone. I'm using these IKEA baskets uh, to organize them. I'm using my Dymo labeler, which I love very much, to label all the boxes. There's no light in here, so I'm just adding this portable lamp from Amazon, which you can stick to the wall, and, and I think it gives enough light to small spaces like this. So I have finished the makeover, and I'm going to show you some befores and afters in 3, 2, 1. 